and I'm back with another video. <laughs> hey guys. So I thought I'd do an updated fountain pen collection video. I don't remember when was the last time I did one. I will link it somewhere in the cards or down below. It'll be there somewhere. Um, oh my God, there's so much noise in my house right now. Um, some of it has changed, some of it remains. Some of it I have opinions on. <laughs> Let's put it to you that way. So I'm gonna start with my Currently Inked, which if you watched one of my previous videos, you know which ones they are. Um, I'm always gonna have my Rotring Art Pen 1.1 stub. It's just perfect. Um, my Platinum 3776 in Lee's Nice Lavende. This has a fine rose gold gold nib. There you go. My Lamy Studio with a medium cursive italic nib. Uh, Franklin Christoph 46 extra large version one. Yeah, that's it. Medium nib. Um, I forget the color. Italian ice or something like that. I don't know. I'll write it in the screen when I do figure it out. Also, I'm going to go through these very quickly because there's a few of them and I don't want this to be super long. So unless I have something very specific to say about the pen, I'm just going to breeze right through them. Uh, my last Twisby fully transparent um, eco. This is a medium name. I've sold all the rest of them. You'll see. Um, pen BBS 268 with a medium nib. Oh, my son is doing PE. That's why you hear so much noise in the background. Um, this is a new acquisition. It's a Kakuno with a medium nib. Really enjoying this. Fully transparent except for that one little piece right there, which why would not why would they not leave it completely white? I mean, transparent makes no sense, but there it is. Um, my Schaefer Prelude, metallic blue. Look how pretty that is with a fine nib. I actually got this back a couple of weeks ago from um, Custom Nib Studio because it was writing, it was just awful. And I had hers um, do a tune and smooth and oh, it's so nice. It's so nice. So I'm really enjoying that one right now. So the rest of my pens live in this 48 case, uh, pen case from Amazon. It was like $20, super cheap. I'll link it down below. It does the job, that's all I'm saying. Um, I'm not gonna pull the pens out of here. It takes too long to pull them out and put them back in. So I'm just gonna go through them fairly quickly. Pilot Custom 74 uh, with a fine gold nib. I haven't used it in forever. I do have some new inks that I wanna try on it, so that's gonna come out soon. Um, Pilot VP Black Carbonesque with a fine gold nib. I'm not a super huge fan of this pen. I'm glad I got it. Not buying anymore. It, the clip just doesn't work for me. Um, Platinum 3776 Chartres Blue. This has a fine gold nib. This is 3776. I will put the name down below because I can't pronounce it for shit. Medium nib. Uh, this is a Platinum Profond with a medium nib. Um, now that I think about it, I have these organized by brand. My Kakunos need to be up here. And there's another one, there's another pilot I have, but it's on timeout, so it's not going to be here. Anyways, or not up here is what I'm saying. Birmingham Pen Company. Um, oh, I don't know if these are 6th Avenue pens. I think they're 6th Avenue pens. Don't quote me. I don't think they're Model A. Are they Model A? I don't know. Don't quote me, but I'll put it down somewhere. Um, Night King with a medium nib. Uh, I saw him with a medium nib and Sankara Stone with a 0.8. No, broad nib. I love these pens. These are absolute favorites. This is a um, Pelican M200 with, a, with an extra fine nib. I love this pen. It's cute. It's tiny. It has the perfect amount of bounce. Ugh. Love it. Uh, this is a Sailor 1911 Promenade with a fine nib. I love this pen. Actually, I really, really enjoy the feedback I get with this pen. This is a uh, Sailor Compass with a medium fine nib. Okay, here's where I'm gonna have words. I just got this pen because um, if you've noticed lately, I have been on a purple kick, okay? So it's cute, it's transparent purple, 
the converter matches. It's, you know, adorable. This is also called a Profit Junior, I believe. Um, it's sold for like $20 plus the proprietary converter. So mm, let's say $30. This was $40. Um, I think it's overpriced for what it is. I, I think as far as this pen goes, uh, you're definitely playing, paying for the name. You're paying for the brand. You're not, the pen is meh. Just meh. There's nothing special about this. So do I recommend it? Nah, not really. Unless you're really, really itching to have a sailor brand name pen but can't afford a gold nib, then yeah. There you go. Um, this is my Edison. I always forget the name of this pen. Edison Premier Nouveau or Nouveau Premier. One of those two. It was a Gully exclusive cherry blossom. It has an Edison medium nib. So I like that one now because <laughs> I hated the stub nib. So I just bit the bullet and bought a new nib and now it's perfect. Um, Twist B 580 ALR Persian Blue and 580 Rose Gold version 2. Out of these two, I love the rose gold the best. Absolutely, hands down, the grip is just perfect. I am not a big fan of the rib section, the grip section on this, it's like ribbed. I don't particularly like it. I don't like the way it feels, but I wanted that color, so it's there. Um, Twisby Echo Rose Gold with a fine nib. One of these is a medium, no, extra fine. I have no idea what the other one is. Um, there's a really good chance that I might end up selling these two. Just, I'm not using them. I'll, I, all I need is the, the fine and then the medium uh, demonstrator and I'm okay. I, I, I'm not, I'm over them. I'd rather buy 580s than Echoes is what I'm saying. Um, of course my 456, Pen BBS 456 pens that I love. We have Cloud with a medium nib, Aurora with a fine nib, Sherry with a fine nib, and Gloom with a broad nib. It has a nemesine broad nib. Um, I love these pens. I just, I love them. I don't know what it is about them. They handle shimmers beautifully. I love them. Highly recommend them. On this section, I have my Visconti Breeze Plum with a broad nib. This one, I actually want to have it. Uh, uh, I'm thinking about sending it to Custom Knit Studio also for Curse of Italic grind because I do enjoy that grind so much that I think it would just make my pen a little bit better. So that is probably gonna happen in the near future. Uh, Nuller's Conrad Flex. Love and hate relationship with this one, but it's not gonna go anywhere. Uh, Jin Hao 51 A's. This one is actually completely transparent green all the way down to the to the nib. So to the hooded nib too, because these are the the only hooded nib ones I have, and I I actually really enjoy these pens. I don't think they get talked about enough. Uh, Jin Hao X750 Shimmering Sands. I don't know what nib it has. All I know is it does not have the one that it came with, which was a medium because it sucked. So I don't remember what nib it has but it's better. Um, another Goulet exclusive, this is the Conklin Duragraph with a medium nib. I think mine is like number 1342 out of 1900, something like that. Narwhal Merman Green. Oh, I love this pen so much. You guys, I can't even begin to tell you how much I love this pen. They are actually releasing uh, a transparent, uh, all transparent demonstrator and a black one in this line. And then in their other line, I'll put the name down below because I can't pronounce that for shit. Um, they're releasing like, I think it's four new colors on that one. And one of them is seriously screaming my name. So I foresee at least two more pens from that brand in my future. Uh, Nemesine Physion with a fine, Singularity with a fine, Neutrino with a fine. Um, both of these are quite heavy because they are not quite heavy, but they're heavy because they're aluminum pens. Um, I wish I'd found Nemesine before they went out of business. It's a shame because they're really, really good pens. Uh, Caveco Sport Soft Tangerine and Sport Ice. 
I think this is a fine and this is a double broad or the other way around. Don't know, but one is a fine, one is a double broad. Okay, this is bad. <laughs> I almost feel like this is the problem area, but it's really not. This is my Etsy impulse buy. What the hell was I thinking pen, okay? You see it, it's pretty. It's obviously a kit pen. I got excited, I didn't think it through. And then I get it and I open it and I think, well, where the hell's the grip section? There is no grip section. This is not an acceptable grip section. So you have to hold it at the barrel. I have no idea what nib size this is, other than it's a little bit scratchy, but it's magnetic. And this clip is cute. This clip makes me think of like Visconti almost. I don't know. I just, I fell for this pen and I can't bring myself to sell it. I, I may have to play with it with the nib and mylar and see if I can make it better. But um, yeah, this is one of those what was I thinking moments. Um, let's see what else I have. That one did deserve to come out for that story, by the way. This is my Diplomat Magnum with a broad nib. It's a super wet rider, super wet, so I hardly ever use it. Um, Daiso cheapy pen. I have no idea what size this is, like what nib size it is at all, but it's here because I use it for questionable inks, okay? Experiments, that kind of a thing, because I don't want to use any other pen for that. This is the one pilot that is on timeout, and it's because I hate it because I think it's possibly like it's such a stupid pen i just i hate it i hate it i hate it and it's a pilot metro mine has a um what do they call it calligraphy medium name no that's, that's a weird little freaky dicky i don't know stub wannabe nib I, it's awful it's awful yet i can't bring myself to throw it out i may also take this to some mylar see if i can smooth out that scratchy ass nib and if that doesn't work then yeah i'll throw it out um online plus online switch plus with an extra fine nib this is a black nib i love this pen it is so good on the hobonichi that nib oh my gosh there's something about it it's again another another brand of pen that doesn't get talked about enough and it's cheap it's like 20 dollars it's a great pen um my other caveco no not caveco um kakuno and this is a fine nib and then lastly my little brass pocket Travelers Company one. I wanted the original one. I didn't buy it. They came out with a blue one. It was kind of like that shade of blue with white designs. I didn't buy it. And they came out with the teal one. I bought it. <laughs> Do I use it? Am I gonna use it a lot? No. I can already tell you that. I don't foresee myself using this pen a whole lot because the, the grip section is really thin and narrow and it hurts my hand to hold it for long periods of time. So live and learn anyways that is my updated fountain pen collection um if you guys have any questions let me know down below i tried to make this as fast as i could without rambling too much so hopefully i accomplished at least that um if you have any questions let me know and i will talk to you guys later bye